Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Football Manager 2018 playthrough. With me, our host, Lickin Marine, where we have... We, we beat Oostend. Oost, Oosted? I still don't know how to say this. Uh, Oosted 3-1. It was the Jurassic Show. Uh, after they went ahead in two minutes, came uh, came charging out of the blocks as... Nabbed a goal, and it was uphill from there. However, Jurassic, I don't know how he scores these goals. I really don't. Uh, Angelina and I just put it to bed at the end. Uh, these stats don't tell the entire story. We had one clear cut chance. They had three clear cut chances. This could have easily turned out a lot, a lot different. Um, of the, I think, I think we had two, two clear cut chances, and one of those clear cut chances was the penalty that was dispatched by Angelina. But yeah, I don't, I still don't know. Drazic just gambles on everything. I don't know. I, 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 wow, that is a long, long, yeah, long highlight. We'll go for this. Picks it up, shields it well, passes it off to Gustavo. He, what he usually does. And then gets, uh, he, he, he runs into the box. And then he just, he just he somehow, he just sniffs out the opportunity. He gambles on everything. He just expects that, uh, that his strike partner is going to miss. Or that he's gonna strike wide, or you just yeah. Anyway, and then this again. Is this a really long? Yeah, it's a really long build-up. Let's uh, let's get you up to about there. If you go for the highlight, I reckon it should automatically start five seconds before the ball hits the back of the net. And if you want, you can adjust it yourself here. If not, then you shouldn't have to. Anyway comes powering through both their centre backs dispatches it with ease um, and I I wanted to keep Drazic on but he ended up uh, with an injury it, it doesn't show here um, but he had a, an injured foot it's actually he was out for two days with a bruised foot so his his condition had dropped quite drastically I like to keep strikers on that have two goals um, I think if they've got two goals they deserve the chance for a hat-trick and we brought some uh, Jelson Dollar, and he had a, a really good chance. Um, he had a number of really good chances. There should be. I'd like up here to see markers for clear cut chances, um, because he had some. He had some great ones. Anyway, fluffed them all. As uh, as did Mavidi. Still not really firing. I mean, he's now worth more than 10 million. If someone comes in and offers me 15, I'll probably say yes. But still, this guy could be more prolific. He really could. And I don't think he's far away from being prolific. He puts in the effort. He's got the physicals to be able to put in the effort. He's just, he's not quite where I need him to be. Although with 23 goals, top goal scorer at the club, still. The moment that you're satisfied with your players is probably the moment to stop playing football manager. Um, so yeah, uh, a decent win. Again, mirroring the win that we had over Andelect, but just the opposite way around, we went ahead first. Instead of them craw clawing yeah, a goal back. So we're starting to pull away. Anderlecht did it. La la la. Anderlecht did employ a manager. They uh, they brought their interim manager and in and uh, turned him into a a full manager. But I, th I fear it's too little, too late. I wonder. Well, the, the tactics aren't going to change, are they? Because it's the same guy. I don't know, Anderlecht could, uh, we could see that manager getting sacked by the end of the season if they do really poorly, i.e. don't even finish in the top two or three. So, interesting by Anderlecht. Anyway, also I was going to look at adding the uh, adding the league. I did turn my, uh, my game off and loaded it back up. I don't know why it says two stars. 
and then it reviews my computer. We, we go back, might be able to show that again. If you have a look down, it initially says our speed is going to be two stars and then it reviews my system and it's like, actually no, you know, you, you've got quite a good system. Uh, maybe it's five stars. Here we go. Takes a little bit and then suddenly remembers, actually, you, your game speed is probably going to be all right. And yeah, there's no Italy. I could have sworn, I could have sworn that I turned Italy on. Here we go, so here. Italy's greyed out, as is Holland, but Holland's greyed out because we have all the leagues here. Italy's greyed out, and we don't have them here, and we don't have all the leagues of Italy. So I don't know what this is about. I have, uh, I've brought it up in at least the Steam discussion page, but a little bit baffled by that. I might have to start an entirely new save just to test whether the, uh, the Italian league will load up. But that's unfortunate. That's that's a a, a really good league that was, that's missing on a technicality. And it's not as if we can't run it. It's not as if we have already have the maximum amount of leagues that we can have. We've got more than enough performance and, and game speed. We, we could easily add the Italian league. So, a little bit baffled by that, but we'll see. Anyway, next game against Lockeren, who have their entire defence made up, I believe, of our players. Nope. No, nope, they've just got left back. Tom Lucas, the left back, who's getting good game time with them, actually. 12 first team appearances. Stats aren't really amazing. The average rating isn't uh, isn't brilliant, but it's all about times on the pitch. Time on the pitch equals development. So, team selection. Let's go. Yeah, Tom Jack is back to full fitness now. Tom Cack is back to full fitness. I think we go with that again. Got youth on the bench. Yep, let's go with that. Alvarez. Maybe getting him him involved. Mm, no. Not this stage of the season. Not this stage of the game. Let's have you in the other twenty ones. Yep. Yeah. And that'll do. Let's go. Less less faffing. Less waffling. Let's go being off. Let's go. Hooperts, I'm fairly certain Hooperts has blue shoes. I remember him. Straight on from where you uh, left off. Let's go. And let's let's play. Hooperts, where are you? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's changed his shoes. Oh no, here he is. He's on the ball. I was looking at the wrong team. Yeah, my dream is a team full of, of blue-booted people. One day it'll come true. Well, I think we have a, a youth player. I think Soto has blue boots. We've got Panna and Soto. Both of them have blue boots. And we may need to bring one of them on. No, Patrick injured their guy. But it looks like he just bruised himself. Bruised ankle. Should be able to play through it. Of course he can. Patrick is hard as nails. <laughs> just just uh, pissing about there. Just dragging a defence around. Anyway, up to Angelino that for some reason he's on the wrong side of the pitch. Fairly certain he's on the wrong side of the pitch there. Oh well. Must have been something to do with the uh, set piece. Into Ritz, into Mavidi. All the way across the box. However... Mavidi was offside. Now, had he thrown that to Mavidi straight to Mavidi, oh, Lucas, uh, then uh, he wouldn't have been offside. You can't be offside from throwings. It's one of those weird rules. And sometimes, every now and then, you'll uh, you'll see players taking advantage of it. Um, I once saw Ronaldinho, I think it was. He was off the pitch uh, getting water after a breakdown in insert play. And uh, they like over here and there was a throw in here 
and he walked back onto the pitch. The throw came on into him, and he, he just took it into the box and scored. The opposition were like, well, well, he was off the pitch. What, what the hell was going on? And he's offside. No, he can't be offside from a, a throw in. Sorry. Are you? Is everyone just falling over now? I don't get. This might go in. No, uh, I don't get why the recipient of the ball, if the ball doesn't get to its intended recipient, the recipient falls on the floor like he's been shot. And I don't get that. I don't get the link between the uh, the passer and the passy. Maybe he just falls on the floor in frustration, but it makes for some silliness. 30 minutes in, only one shot each. Has been a fairly even game. Shoves takes a shot from outside the box, just outside the box. It goes wide. Were you not outside? Yeah. It's okay. Bavidi will have to get past his. Uh, Club counterpart of Lucas. No, nope. where was Lucas? Lucas had come in to uh, mark Drazic, but Drazic could only head into the arms of the keeper. Still, he got ahead on it. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what the managers were doing there. A little bit of YMCA or something. Love a good dance. Lucas with the ball away. Well cleared for uh, a left back. They're probably not playing complete wing backs. So I doubt we're gonna see what Lucas can do with his uh his good crossing abilities. So this, could, this is gonna be an outswinger. And Elias gets up to meet him. Good. So hope it's the blue booted individual and Gustavo is has a space to run into but it was probably the wrong choice there Tomcock was making a really good overlapping run and that should have probably uh, Patrick that should probably have gone out into the path of Tomcock uh, we'll, we'll keep Patrick on until half time Exhausted. It'll be fine. It'll be fine till half time anyway. We have buskets that can come on in his position. Do not do not head that into your own goal. I had visions of a uh, of Vita there in a previous game. Talking of Vitas good head out. Filipovic a little bit of a back heel and Huppert's just misses. Only just. We're not doing brilliantly. Ten fouls. Yeah we're not the cleanest team either. Let's bring Patrick off now for Oriel Busquets and let's tell them Performing well, just to keep morale up a little bit. Seemed deep in thought after what? So you pulled Oriel Busquets to one side and told him that you haven't got anything specific to say right now. Well done, you fucking genius. It's no wonder he seemed deep in thought. Yeah, the assistant manager is a bit of a weirdo. Yeah, I agree with you, Busquets. I agree with you. Drazic again does a brilliant job of uh, of shielding that. He kind of gets lumped forward to Drazic. Drazic. Fair enough, he is playing the target man role on support, so he gets lumped up forward to him, and then he shields it from anyone trying to take it off him because it's a bit weird, and then just plays a, a short, simple pass to someone with more brains than him, like uh, Gustavo or Schuves, or Soto if he's playing in the uh, attacking midfield role. 
advanced playmaker role. And there he goes, runs in the box. And that's all you want from a, a target man. Tom Kak with the in swinging ball, and Drazik gets his head on that. Comes back to Shoops, waits for people to get onside. Had to wait too long, and gets taken off him. Vitas sweeps up, across his box to Elias. Long ball forward to Drazik, both of the you are onside. Drazik is naturally left footed, so this should be, oh my word, Mavidi. I was going to say. He's naturally left footed, so he doesn't have to check his run when he gets to the byline. He can just whip in a, a really good cross. That's why I like the left footed strikers, or yeah, left footed strikers on the left, right footed strikers on the right. You're meant to flip them the other way around just so they can get better shots on goal. But in that instance, Mobidi should have hit the net. What can we do to change this game? I think we bring Mavidi off actually, to be honest. He's not been brilliant. Yeah, 60 minutes. I'll bring Mavidi off, I think. Unless he... no. Slagvir out to Roll Heinzer, back, back to Slagavir and to an injured Torres. Angelina will pick that up. Ah, there's something went wrong in the communication there. Come on, get into him, mess him up. Okay, Mavidi picks this up. Hops over one challenge. Gets a good ball into Drazik, and that was heading in. Let's bring Mavidi off. He says it says he's got on a six point eight. However, I don't believe it. Let's bring on Jelson Dala for him. I think I'll leave it there for the time being. I'll have a look at sixty eight minutes to bring in someone else on. There we go, 69. Close enough. Uh, I don't think we're in a position where we can start bringing youth on. I think uh, I think Panna is going to be the, our best bet here. Uh, well, that was close. Now a draw against the teams that are in that qualified for this section of the league, the uh, the second portion. Already, already he's contributed more than uh, Mavidi did. I suppose the right right person for the right game. Got his first shot on target. If it's on target, it's always going to be dangerous. Goalkeeper had to react to it, and then he was the first one to. Uh, to follow it up. Well done. I was going to say, um, a draw to a team that have qualified for this section of the league is not a bad thing. Obviously would prefer the win. Looks like we might be on course for it. In terms of the stats, we have probably shaded it. Hilson Dala, reveling in his... Uh, in his appearance. I don't think I think Drazik had just strayed offside there. That's why they went for a shot. Was that Gustavo that went for that shot? Probably. Weird camera angle, but Gooseman out to Tomcat. Two shoves. Back to Elias. Long ball forward to Drazik who was on side. What are you doing there? Why did you stop? You had space to run into. And Dala was running off you. 
that was a that wasn't his best decision. Miles on into the box and Guzman plucks that out of the air with consummate ease. Slag there with the uh, the throw. Across the box, dangerous ball, just no one there. Someone had been lurking outside the box. They could have hammered that. I put the dangerous ball in, gets picked up by Roll Roll Ross Roll Hammer Roll Roll Heiser. Again, this guy's got blue boots as well. What how are we what kind of person are you? On loan from River. Nineteen year old, decent polygon for a, a striker. I'd like a little bit more speed and a little bit more attacking, especially 19, but determination that needs a little bit more personality could do with a, a bump up to something like Resolute or Determined. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. I'm just uh, swayed by the fact that he wears blue boots. Chris does done well here. Buys his team a corner. Has Panas changed his boots? He has. Pan, have you changed your boots? Yeah, they're kind of some grey colour. I wonder what prompts that. I could have sworn he had blue uh, yeah, I could have sworn he had blue boots. He was the only person in our team who had the blue boots. I know this. I wonder what prompts the uh, the boot colour change. How weird. Hmm, dunno. Gustavo, I expect better from you. You are the brains of the outfit. Much like Evander was last year. Jurassic, that's a beautiful little cross. A little beautiful little cross. Beautiful little lob over the defence. Jelson Dalla did everything right there except hit the back of the net. He could have probably opened the angle up a little bit, but I could have tried going around the keeper, but he'd have had to cut inside. Maybe on his weaker foot. He was being tracked by uh, by the defence. Pan up from range, maybe? Nope. Gustav doesn't quite get his foot around that, doesn't quite get enough curl around. That you don't see much in the way of curl in uh, in this match engine. He used to when uh, the the two D engine came about. You should you used to be able to see some outrageous things being scored, like Roberto Carlos, outrageous, like things just nipping in, just everywhere. It was it was uh, it was nice to watch, especially if. You were the beneficiary. But yeah, it, it's quite rare that you see, unless it's a a free kick or something like. That. You you don't often see curve on the ball. I think that might be. We may have seen this out, but the game's not over. We are just one goal corner? No. We are just one goal to the good. But when we have the ball at the back, we uh, we do like to keep it. Gooseman with the, the show balls out to defence. Drazik over the over the top? No. Nope. All the way across the field towards Tomcak. At least should slow this down a little bit. Panna to Drazik, but it wasn't to be. Bitas probably saved a shot on goal there. He was being hounded by their 22. Roll Heiser. The, uh, the Argentinian, apparently. You wouldn't know that a lot of Germans went to Argentina, would you? With a name like that. Oh, wow. We had nearly all of our good work undone then. Nearly. But no. They're pleased. I'm... 
a little bit nonplus. I'm not unhappy. The stats are in our favour. It's just I'm not as happy as I could be. It was okay. Yeah, I think this one. We got away with that. Against better opposition. That late uh, that late shot goes in. And we should have put away a lot more of our chances. I might drop Mavidi for the next game. Maybe that'll make him wake up. So Gent, where are you? I don't think Gent played today. They played uh, yesterday. Have they just played Ustend or have they just played Genk? Well, Genk have just played today, so I'm assuming they played Ustead. So it looks like it's uh, the one at the top. Is the one they just played. I mean, if you didn't know the order, then you'd have no clue on this list. So it looks like they won against Ustend. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. So there's a little bit of a gap there. There's another little bit, yeah. Ten points separate us from third. Gent are the ones that we need to be worried about. We do edge a narrow game. Let's see how Smets is getting on. All right there, played fairly well, got a goal. They're under 19s, not bad. And yeah, played the full game and uh, did well, did well actually. 7.1, let's see you, let's see about you. Yep, you're increasing as well, good. It looks like at some point they've played him at right side of defence. They may have been a little bit desperate, they may have uh, been running out of people, but they have had a bit of an in injury crisis. Oh well. Next game, next game for us is going to be another game against Anderlecht. Now I thought Anderlecht were going to be more of a power than they have already been. But they're not. I'm half inclined to play Ghent and then skip out Andlight and Zult and go for Ustent. Then, no, because we'll be playing Ghent again. I want to play the very last game against Ghent. We haven't seen a game against Zulvargum. All right, let's do that. I'll skip two games. I'll skip Gens and Anderlecht. Show Zulvargum. Skip another two. I'm bringing you back for the uh, the last game as well. Okay, so I've been looking around as always. You lot have been amazing. And join me next time for our game against Zulvargum. Do you have any players of ours? Michael Barron, a guy who scored against us in the league, who won the game for them in the league, who is, I probably won't accept, I won't uh, continue with his contract, I'll just let his contract run out and uh, release him from the club, he's not developing in the way, I was in two minds about bringing him to the club anyway, but he's just not developed the way I would have liked him. He was also out injured for a while, which I think dropped his bravery. Picked up quite a bad injury here, I think. Twisted ankle, no, it was something more than that. You got the time now, abdominal muscle whilst you were with us. You were out for two months. Yeah, it's just, he's not, he's not been amazing. We'll probably end up releasing him. Anyone else? Nope. We have Romulo Diaz on loan from Paris San Germain. Who looks like he could do a job. Interesting. Anyway. 
until next time. Until the gaming at Zultwagen. Do take care.